Okay, now the next topic is, this topic is very small. Two small uh, ciphers is what we're going to learn over here. This is also part of classical encryption. We saw substitution cipher earlier. Now we are looking at transposition cipher. Okay, so first of all, what is transposition cipher? Okay, the letters in the plain text itself are rearranged or jumbled so that it becomes a cipher. It is not easy to read. But when the messages are small, you will see the transposition, transposition cipher is easy to break. Okay, so over here, this is an example of transposition. Meet me at noon is the message. And the cipher is simply rearranging. So instead of reading from front to back, we are reading from, we are writing the alphabets from back to front. So over here it is noon, tame, team. Okay, but if you read from here, meet me at noon, it is clear to see the message. Okay, now there are certain algorithms. One method is a rail fence cipher. Okay, in the uh, rail fence cipher, the plain text, whatever is the text that we want to, you know, encrypt, it is staggered between rows and the rows are then read sequentially to give the cipher. So if K is equal to 2, Okay, the uh, plain text over here, example, this is an example, okay. Transposition ciphers can easily be broken. This is what is being given over here. Now, since K is equal to 2, okay, see, this is what we can do. Supposing, <clears throat> okay, we want to put it in two rows. So, what we do over here is put T over here and in the next row, we are putting the next alphabet R, then over here we are putting A, then over here we are putting N. So we just keep writing this text itself, alternating between the two rows. So over here we have T, R, A, N, S, P, O, S, I, T, sorry, here, T, I, O, N. Okay, so transposition has now become like transposition in the way, uh, you know, a railway track. That is why it is, you know, given like that. Now, all the whole thing, ciphers can easily be broken, will be written like this. And then the cipher will be the first row will is all this look over here t a s o i i n so t a s o i i n and then the rest when we finish writing the whole thing the whole first row will be written first and the second row will be written second okay now here the tutorial is the tutorial is to try converting Instead of K is equal to 2, write the cipher by converting it with 3, 4, and 5. And then test various keys to break this cipher. So okay, try with 2, try with 3. How do you design the decryption? It's simple. Okay, design the decryption. If this is equal to 2, then it will be divided by 2. And then we can just write the first two rows. If it is 3, then divide these number of alphabets by 3. And then, you know, check whether... That is something written. Just this is how you will break, okay, the key. So try doing that. Now the cryptanalysis, okay. Computing the relative frequency of the cipher letters reveals the cipher let that cipher letters occur with the same frequency as plain text. Okay, so if we look at the different al the alphabets are not being changed. So if you look at the frequency, we can it is the same frequency. Okay, so the it is not possible by frequency we cannot find, you know, what is the cipher because it's the same frequency. We don't have any, you know, comparison to be done over there. But the transposition means it's rearranged. So we can try different rearrangements. So first, normally what we do is we try reading backward. Then we will try different key sizes and, you know, automate the uh, key size uh, management so that we can check whether the data is 
uh, I mean, what the data is, whether it is transposition cipher that is being used. Okay. Now you can, this for homework, you can just find out what can be done to increase the security or improve the security of rail fence cipher. Okay. Now the next is row transposition, which is columnar. Okay. Row transposition. Here, we fix the number of rows. And then whatever is our plain text, we are going to write the plain text within that particular, this is the keyword. So the sixth row will be written first, the third row second, two, four, one, five. Okay. Now we're going to look at an example. We are discovered, flee at once. Okay, so over here, what we are doing is with um, we first write out the whole message. Here we have got how many rows? This, uh, six rows are there. And column by column, once we have written the six rows, one, two, divide this into six rows, and then the um, cipher is column by column. Okay, so we are discovered three at once. We have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay, so this, we what we can do is the width of the row and the permutation of the columns are usually defined by some sort of keyword. So over here, if we have got a keyword zebras, then the, the length, the so the rows are of length 6. Okay, so we will write this W, E in this column, W, E, A, R, E, D. Then next I will write I, S, C, O, V, E, R, E, D. So 6, 6 alphabets will come in each row. Okay, and then once that is done, we simply write the um, in the order of the letter. So A is coming first. So this column will be written first. B is coming next. So B will be written next. E is coming next. Third, so that will be written next. S will be coming before Z. So S will be written the, I mean, R is R before S. So this is the fourth column. This is the fifth column. And this is the sixth column. So we just write, depending on the key that is given to us, accordingly, those many alphabets will be written in each row. And then in the order of the alphabets of the key, we will be writing column by column for the for that particular uh, transposition cipher, okay, encryption. So this is a tutorial. We are discovered, flee at once. Okay, with the full stop also. Some cases people use the full stop or the special characters. Some they don't use full stop or special characters. Okay, so even if you don't use the full stop, the meaning will be the same. We are discovered free at once. It makes sense. Okay, so you can use that. So I hope you have understood. There is a key. Based on the number of alphabets in the key, we create the rows with the plain text. And then depending on which alphabet is first in the alphabetical order, that column will be written first for the cipher. And with this, this particular section is done. We'll continue in the next class.